Hello everyone, in this video series we are working on several labs for the AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam that are available from Microsoft Learning on the GitHub. I'll give you this link to this video at the end of the uh, video uh, and what we have been doing just to keep the videos manageable we are creating a single video for each task so we have already created a video for deploying the Azure Web App. Then in the next video, we created a staging environment. In the last video, we configured the staging environment and we created an user account who can use the local Git environment to deploy some code. In this video, we're gonna focus on task four, which is about deploying code to the staging development slot. So let's see how to do that. So let's go to the staging area in this task you will deploy code to the staging deployment slot. In the Azure portal, open the Azure Cloud Shell by clicking the icon so we know that and get set and get the PowerShell. And so what they're doing, they're cloning this Git repository in that PowerShell environment. So let's go to our, our Azure environment. So if I go in there, again, <clears throat> under the web app, you you should only see one web app that is running that we have created as part of this lab and if you go in inside this uh, web application and go to the deployment slots you will see that we have two different deployment slots one is the production slot that we created at the deployment time and then we went in and we created this staging environment in this staging environment once we have everything done we have uh, we went to the deployment center and from the deployment center we went to the deployment credential and we got we configured this user who can uh, use this deployment environment to deploy code now for this lab you just need to click on the cloud shell icon over here it will open up this PowerShell hopefully it's not the first time by by now but if you if it is the first time it will ask you to create a cloud storage account so just say okay and just uh, it will open up this parcel window parcel environment for you in this environment first we're gonna clone this git repository where we have a php docs hello world code in there so just hit enter and now it's cloning and the cloning is done so it says 100 percent done so let's go back to the lab and see what to do with the code so we are done with step four from cloud shell pane run the following to add the remote git make sure to replace the deployment username and the glit con url placeholder with the value of the deployment credential username and the git clone url so git remote add so we're going to add this repo so let's write it down properly over here in our notepad so deployment username is the username that we have created and configured in the previous lab and glit git clone url is this big old git url that we have created so now we have the proper command with us so let's copy this and go back to the Azure environment and now we can run this command so that's gonna add let's see it says not a git repository so let's review this uh, and the glit git clone URL so let's make sure that our git clone URL is still right so let's copy that one one more time deployment username and git clone url so let's uh, go back over here let's see this is the seems like that's the right git clone url git remote add looks like note the value following git Hold on, hold on, hold on. We missed, we missed, missed a spot. 
so we need we need to run this one run the following to set the current location of the newly created clone so yeah so that's my problem sorry about that so we cannot miss a step so run this one first so that's gonna set up the directory okay now we are in this directory and let's just go ahead and do git remote add and see and that's this time is now successful I didn't get any problem okay so make sure you're following every single step so now now we are done um, so once that's done from the cloud shop and run the following push following to push the sample web app code from the local repository to the web app staging area slot okay so git push so we're gonna get the code and and push it to the master branch so again uh, we're gonna write down this code properly over here and we're gonna use the username right here and we're gonna push the code to the master branch okay, let's come back and do this if you have a little bit of git experience it's probably gonna be uh, you understand what we are trying to do so it's asking for username for this so username is right here so let's copy that one provide the username and it's asking for the password for that user so let's see if I remember the password properly okay I provided the password and hit enter and there we go it says done so my password I think I entered it properly so it's the deployment is going on and deployment successful look at that so I'm very excited so let's go back to the lab so if prompted for authentication uh, provide this uh, username password what we are we have already done and at this time as the deployment is completed we can we can close the cloud cell and to do that just come over here and click on this close icon so that's your cloud cell is gone in the staging slot blade click overview and click on the URL link so we can get rid of this and staging slot blade click on the overview so go to the overview here is here is the overview for the staging slot okay and that's my URL where it's hosted so you can copy that one and verify the browser page displays the hello world message and close the new tab so if we go and uh, click and try to go to this environment let's see what comes up oh, nothing is coming up it should come up uh, hello world for us there we go <laughs> I was a little scared but so now we know that we have deployed our code properly uh, to the staging environment and the code is available at this URL for our app service so as for the lab we have completed all the steps that that were required for uh, to complete the task 4 in the next video we're going to show up the staging slots and continue and it looks looks like step 5 is pretty small so we may be able to finish up uh, both 5 and 6 and complete this series of videos in the next one okay so we'll complete step 5 and 6 in the next video so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video uh, good luck with the preparation for the AZ 104 exam thank you